så det bra. Bonus där. Bonsoir, Soma. Allo et bonsoir à tous. Que pas de Soma et de la cachette tout. Ayman, Aino, Sarah, Anik, les atouts. So, Sarah, you guys had a great Ramadan so far. Any news on your classes? Nanti nak sambung. Is there any news on when are you guys going to continue your classes? Yeah, I mean dekat UITM. Ada berita tak? Oh, is it? Memang akan kelas online sampai sampai bila? Bonsoir. You guys can hear me clearly like Should be no Connection issues Bonsoir, how are you? So still no news lah I could assume, I can assume that there's no news So far yet Sampai habis Sam, wow, okay Okay And how are you guys coping? Macam mana kelas online lain-lain? Kelas slides lain daripada kelas Perancis? Okay ke? You guys nak catch up? I mean... Is it... Hard? Catching up? I hope you guys are not having a hard time lah. Okay, uh... For the exercises, saya baru dapat uh, tiga orang baru hantar tadi. But saya tak sempat tanda lagi because some of the answers uh, saya memang kena tanda manually. Okay, thank you for the information, Ayu. Oh, kalau... Okay, kalau kelas language, saya rasa macam okay sikit mengajar online tapi kalau kelas-kelas lain saya uh, saya pun kalau saya sendiri satu sem kena belajar online I don't think I can saya sendiri tak rasa saya boleh score lah exam I mean it's not easy lah so I, I hope you guys are strong to go through this <laughs> okay Alright then. Okay, uh, for the three of you yang baru hantar tadi saya tak sempat tanda. Uh, saya akan tanda selepas kelas ini, okay? And uh, overall, I think okay lah so far the uh, nyawa nyawa ikan. I'm sorry to hear that. Stay strong, guys. Okay, which is why I will... For French, I think... Saya akan cuba setayu payu untuk bagi korang pas. Sebab... It's supposed to be a language subject, so it should not be... I mean, it should, shouldn't be as hard as other subjects. So, uh, you guys have to understand sometimes saya bagi soalan yang agak susah daripada soalan yang akan keluar ke exam. So, uh, which is why saya mengalu-alukan soalan and I will try to answer as uh, soon as I can. 
even kalau korang lost ada yang lost dari awal ke please just uh, come to me and then I will help you ok uh, I think it should be ok we can start with the discussion on the exercises average is okay I guess uh, more than half which is my target selalunya target saya selalu kalau bagi exercise memang kalau boleh semua students almost average lah uh, get more than half so okay I will note this down somewhere so ini soalan-soalan yang ramai kantor Starting from this number four here, Le Fivien du Canada. I think I think I can understand why you guys make mistakes. Uh, they are a bit tricky, so never mind. We go through one by one. We go. We can go through. Korang. apa kita uh, rajin lepas rawih ni lepas kelas ni boleh lah kira melayan ke ok I'm not gonna look at the scores alright then ok so we will start with question number 1 ok dah 9.55 10 minutes dah We will start with uh, the first thing that we have learned in lesson 3 which is les pays et les nationalités which means countries and nationalities So the first question is actually uh, so I have explained this here Remplissez les blancs uh, which means fill in the blanks and I did mention the answer should be the country name or the nationalities. I think most of you guys got it correct. Uh, I'm sorry for those yang jawab shanters. Uh, sepatutnya jawapan should be nationality bukan penyanyi ya. Is this this? Uh, so saya saya bagi hint dekat sini is just to help you to understand what this word means. I'm sorry if this was uh, this confused you because I wanted to know saya nak tahu dia punya nationality bukan dia punya kerja because profession is already uh, last chapter uh, second chapter uh, lesson lesson 2 lesson 2. Okay uh, so where are we? Where were we? Uh, Alright then. Let's see if we can do like this. Okay. Oh, well, this is not the one. So, uh, where was it? This is the one. Okay. So belah kiri adalah analysis <coughs> kepada result korang. And then belah kanan is the soalan. <coughs> so we will start. Here we go. Okay, la chanteuse, no, numéro A. La chanteuse s'appelle Siti Nurhaliza. Who doesn't know Siti Nurhaliza again? So la chanteuse means penyanyi, female singer. Chanteur. Un chanteur means a male singer. This is just for your information. Elle, so I want, I would like to know their punya nationalities. I would like to know her nationality. Most of you answered correctly. Uh, so the best way to answer is actually. Uh, uh, Okay. 
can see it here. Okay, the answer for number one is. Okay, 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 done. Is Malaysian? U Malaysia? Ah, Malaysian lah, dua-dua Malaysian. Okay, Malaysian sebab dia, Siti Noliza adalah wanita Malaysian ya. So we don't need actually to add la, ataupun un. But I still give you half a mark, if not mistaken. For those who answer un ataupun la, kalau dia yang saya tak tanda betul, bagi tahu. Saya bagi tahu, saya bagi setengah marka satu, marka satu lah. For those who answer Malaysian, you guys dapat dua marka. Okay, next is. Uh, tak apa, ok next one is Sapel Mario it's Sapel Mario his name is Mario, Super Mario so, ok, this one Ile uh, saya, saya ada bagi hint kat situ which is Italy and I uh, ok, I think this might have confused you guys too Sebenarnya saya nak tanya dia punya nationality. Dia bukan bukan negara. So ile means he is. If you guys remember the verb at ile is he is. So ah yang for those who answered Italian, très bien, well done. And for those who answered Italy, I'm sorry for confusing you, but most of you have answered it correctly, which is good. And okay, also for this one, number three, ramai juga yang berjaya menjawab dengan betul. The Beatles est un groupe de musique Angleterre, d'Angleterre, which means the Beatles it is a group of music, actually music group from England, from ataupun United Kingdom. Angleterre means itu siapa Muhammad tanya? Angleterre ni apa? Muhammad Karif. So tak ingat Ok uh, Its members are So from Angleterre Which means they are English English En français Is Anglais Anglais uh, Ok By the way you guys tak payah You guys don't need to copy the whole sentence again ah. Siapa yang buat ni saya tak pasti Tapi tak payah uh, copy the whole sentence Just put the answer Put the nationality sahaja I think this one also same Person, I'm not sure. Oh, okay. But it's actually correct lah, Muhammad. It's Malaysian. Tapi tak perlu letak la. La is the. Kalau kita letak la, dia akan jadi. La Shantus Sapel Siti Nualiza. Ele, she is the Malaysian, which is makes no sense lah. Tak betul ayat tu. So just kata LA Malaysian Tak payah letak artik, artikel pun kat sini Kalau nak me, uh, Kalau kita nak Apa ni Kalau kita nak beritahu uh, Nationality seseorang Tak perlu letak un Tak perlu letak un uh, Tak perlu letak le le Kecuali kalau nak kata the lah The uh, Malaysian Tapi in this case Kita nak cakap she is Malaysian So LA Malaysian Eh, sorry, Elle Malaysian, Malaysian. Question numéro quatre. Les filles, les filles, okay, viennent du Canada. I managed to give. Okay, mama, ça peut être jawa. Almost correct. I still give at least one, ah, satu marka lah. Don't worry Kalau ada yang tak dapat satu marka bagi tahu lah Cuma yang tepat nanti Tapi siapa, siapa yang dapat jawab Tengah tepat saya bagi dua lah Kalau tak saya bagi dua untuk orang lain Tak adil pula Yes yes 
So le la le tu semua de lah mat. Mat. Le l l e l a l e s tu semua de. In this case tak payah letak le. That's just letak Malaysian saja. Ok, nombor numéro 4 Les filles viennent du Canada Les filles viennent du Canada Elles sont So here I mentioned that Viennent is the conjugation of the verb Venir So if you guys open I think I have the PowerPoint It's here Venir Venir is here Viennent is here Kalau kita nak cakap ramai Il ataupun elle viennent it is uh, maksud venir is come so the girls les filles if you guys remember les filles means the girls come from Canada elles sont they are elles sont so the answer is uh, Canadian sebenarnya jawapan yang betul adalah this one uh, letak le pun saya bagi markah satu Canadian, Canadian, ada S ah, jawapan dia so the answer is kenapa saya tekan ni the answer is Canadian, this is the answer the correct answer is here I think dekat dalam korang punya result also mention the answers ah. you guys can see the answers, the correct answers and if I uh, mark your exercises wrongly bagi tahu saya Mon copain travaille au Japon. Mon copain travaille au Japon. Il parle. So, my friend, copain is same as ami. My friend works in Japan. He, he speaks. So, I say, I'll give him this. Every time he goes want to talk about language, he takes the masculine singular form of nationalities. What do I mean by this sentence? It's actually, you guys have to go to the slide and korang tengok bagian nationality masculine sangulier masculine sangulier is is the lucky so orang so selalunya kita akan ambil this one maknanya kalau Japone if you want to say he speaks Japanese so we'll take this form which is japonais il parle japonais so the answer is japonais so a lot of you guys managed to get it correctly très bien and as i said you don't have to copy the whole sentence you don't have to copy the whole sentence just put the answer so number six numéro six is a tricky one, sebenarnya. So, ma soeur étudie en. So, in this case, a, the question does not ask you about the nationality. Dia tanya dekat mana. So, instead of putting nationality, you put the name of the country. So, siapa yang letak Shin? La Shin? Rashin pun actually saya bagi makar juga Sebab saya belum uh, Saya belum sentuh bab Preposition untuk negara So I will explain further But the, uh, the best answer is actually Shin This one Answer is Shin Ma soeur étudie en Shin My sister studies in China You guys can ask me anytime, you guys can interrupt me in the chat or WhatsApp or whatsoever. Numéro 7, question numéro 7. Le chanteur, le chanteur, saya ada abang kat atas tadi. Le chanteur est penyanyi. Le chanteur, c'est comme un vient de Belgique. Il est. So, for Belgium, in the slide and also in the book, I have mentioned how to how to find the masculine singular which is this one il est belge il est belge so ingatlah belgique bila lelaki dengan perempuan the spelling doesn't change 
the pronunciation doesn't change and for plural just tambah s aja so this one is a and is an irregular forms compared to other uh, nationalities for other nationalities semua hampir semua ejaan like berlainan but for swiss and for switzerland dengan logic and also la russie russia the spelling doesn't change here kalau plural tambah s sahaja so the answer is here is belch belch ok ramai jawab belch betul to musician sorry bukan i'm asking about nationality so not the profession Last but not least, for the pays et la nationalité, l'actrice. L'actrice s'appelle Angelina Jolie. Elle est. L'actrice is the actress. His name, the actress' name is Angelina Jolie. Elle est. Okay, most of you guys have got it correct. Comedian. No. <laughs> okay. Uh... Une américaine, eh? sebab dia female American, American women, American woman. So it is here. One person, eh? elle est américaine, which is this one. Feminine singulier, elle est américaine. All right, let's go on to. Next exercise, section 3, les objets de la classe et les objets personnels. So, as so I mentioned the Katsini, I think you guys managed to follow the instructions. Most of you, I think all of you. Good, très bien. Salah tu tak apa, it's normal. Okay, so you guys can see a person here, a girl here. Dia punya bag jatuh and some of her stuff is outside the bag. Actually, you guys boleh tengok kat sini. Ada benda yang plural, ada benda yang banyak, ada benda yang satu sahaja. Which is why, okay, first question. Siapa ada Google? Good. Mushuah means, the mushuah uh, actually means tissue. So, you guys can see there are a couple of tissues here. So, which is why dia ada S kat sini. Which is why the answer is D. D a S ah. So bagi ni betul ni betul. Sorry bukan A bukan N. Most of you answered correctly D. Très bien. We go on. La question suivante. This is also I put here livre 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 means books. You guys can see there are a couple of books. Ada beberapa buku dekat lantai kat sini. Which is why the answer is D juga, plural. D livre. D livre. Tadi, D mouchoir. D mouchoir. La question suivante. Ok, la question suivante is uh, clé. Clé means key. Kunchi, eh? Clé means key. And the word, the noun is feminine. The noun is feminine. So if it's feminine, then the answer is une. Une clé. Une clé. Hein? Très bien. I did a long slide. I believe I did a long slide. Okay, this is a tricky one. Photo. Hein? Photo is here. We have only one photo here. So, okay. Photo is one of the nouns that can be tricky. Because dia punya ejaan dia, memang if you see the spelling, we will think that dia punya gender is masculine. Uh, so, actually, Kalau kita tengok, ejaan ni memang tak ada huruf E kat belakang. So, we will all assume that it is masculine. I would, I pun, saya pun, bila tengok perkataan foto, I would assume it is masculine. But it's actually, the answer is, 
une une photo so it is feminine it's one of the few exceptions yang uh, you, you have to learn by heart learn by heart no choice dia memang feminine photo is feminine meanwhile telephone telephone pula is walaupun dia berakhir dengan huruf e I think I got mentioned around here one of the objects here ada tak ok tak ada walaupun dia berakhir dengan huruf e dia sebenarnya masculine Yep, it's masculine. So which is why I give you I give here is one point on this but kada kada kurang boleh salah. So it's the answer the correct answer is un uh, un telephone. So far we have des mouchoirs, des livres, une clé, une photo, un téléphone. So if you guys translate the, the words into English is tissues. Day tak ada, we don't have a translation for day, eh? day or s. Kita tak ada translation untuk day kepada bahasa Inggeris, kita memang tak ada. So day leave books, we don't have translation for day, again I mentioned. So, une clé, a key, une photo, a photo, if you literally translate it to English. Un téléphone, a telephone. Next one, okay. Cahier, cahier is notebook ataupun exercise book. Des cahiers, des cahiers. Okay, most of you managed to answer it correctly, très bien. Une trousse, trousse is a pencil case kotak pencil une trousse sebab dia berakhir dengan huruf e so this one is pretty obvious I would say so une trousse sac un sac is a backpack ataupun uh, simply bag sac guna artikel un so un sac so sebab dia masculine without an e it's just a normal uh, noun so un sac Okay, the next exercise is actually, I think most of you manage to score here. Ramai yang berjaya menjawab dengan betul. Cuma, I hope you guys uh, ada yang tak baca soalan betul-betul ni. So, complete complete the exercise by putting in iya ataupun se. In iya ataupun se. Bukan il ataupun i ataupun a ataupun sebut. Dia Ilya ataupun C There is ataupun it is For the first question Okay, dans mon sac Dans mon sac In my bag Kita okay, pas kosong La photo de mes copains La photo de mes copains So here you guys can see La, la photo eh? Which means, which is why you guys patut tengok sini la foto you guys boleh conclude you guys boleh uh, you guys boleh tahu yang foto ni sebenarnya feminine sebab sini ada la foto which is why tadi soalan tadi you guys can if you guys manage to go here you guys can know you guys can change your answer tapi tak boleh tukar jawapan lah kan once you guys dah proceed So, love photo. So, photo is feminine. So, the answer for number uh, for A is il ia. Il ia. Il ia is, means there is. Il ia means there is. Dans mon sac, il ia la photo de mes copains. In my bag, there is the photo of my friends. Question B Question B, ma meilleure copine, tepat kosong, Iman. So, I got mentioned here, 
meilleur masculin ou meilleur féminin means best. In this case, ma meilleure copine means my best, my best female friend. So, my best friend, it is Iman. Ma meilleure copine, c'est Iman. Ma meilleure copine, c'est Iman. Question C. Moi, me, moi means me, hein? moi, ça y est, pas que son, Lucille, et toi, Lucille, et toi, et toi is, and you, the best answer to put here is, moi, c'est Lucille, moi, c'est Lucille, très bien, ramai n'a pas mangé dans le moto, moi, c'est Lucille, et toi, dans ma classe, par contre, mes copains et mes copines. In my class, mes copains et mes copines means my, my male friends and my female friends. Mes copains et mes copines. So, the best answer to put here is, dans ma classe, is il y a mes copains et mes copines. In my class, there are my friends, my male friends and my female friends. Dans la trousse, in the pencil case, des stylo. So, takan akata, it is pencils. You have to say, there are pencils. Ya, se, ya, tapun. Tapun, se, ah, ya, there are, it is, there are pencils, which is, il y a, il y a des stylo. Untuk soalan mana ya, I know, nanti saya tengok balik. Ada yang saya tersilapkan dia kot. Okay, regarde. C, the answer is C, la bande des cartes. Look, if I translate, is <coughs> look, it is the group of four. Maknanya dia nak cakap, look at them, it, that, that's a group of four people. So, c'est la bande des quatre. C'est la bande des quatre. So, for this exercise, mes mains sont en marque. For C et Emilia. Compléter avec les couleurs. Compléter avec les couleurs. Complete with colors. Make sure to identify its gender, singular or plural. Okay. Actually, so the number two is already uh, not easy for you guys. So, partner, color the long French. If you guys remember, I did mention that. Okay. Color the long French, even if. Uh, selain daripada color orange dengan Sekejap. So dalam French selain daripada color orange dengan marron orange dengan orange dengan uh, brown dia punya plural also need to put s so this is where you guys, uh, most of you guys, fall into this trap. So kalau dekaye, kalau kita nak kata, um, 
yellow notebooks. You have to put the cahier jaune avec un S, with an S, avec un S, with an S. So, kalau nak kata, the table vert, major banyak, uh, green tables, green tables, eh? In English, we don't say green tables, but in French, we have to put an S here. The table vert, avec un S, walaupun we don't really pronounce the S. So this is where uh, French gets tricky. Okay, so in comparison, you guys managed to answer this one. Uh, <laughs> okay, only five of you managed to answer it correctly. Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima. So jawapan dia, blanche. Ce sont des gommes blanches. Ce sont des gommes blanches. They are white erasers. They are white erasers. Blanche, huh? It's okay. Now you guys know. Now you know where is your error. So, meanwhile, c'est une table. So, semua jawab dengan betul. Wow, okay. Let's go. So, but this one. Even though dia kalau dia marron dia singulier ke un singulier masculin ke singulier feminin ke plural ke dia punya ejaan dia sama saja for all marron here I hope you guys are clear about this so okay the first question where you guys almost all of you managed to answer correctly I mean all of you memang all of you Okay, marron. Ce sont des chaises rouges. Seven of you manage. Okay, seven. Sorry, seven, three, ten of you manage to answer correctly. Kalau rouge, kita kena plural, kena tambah s. Say, I will remind you guys again. So rouge avec un s here. Bila dia plural. C'est un livre noir. Noir is the answer. Noir is black. Bukan noir without the e. Uh. It's about livre. Yes, why I did I keep on uh, telling you make sure the uh, make sure you identify the punya gender dulu. What gender? So, sini dah ada un. C'est un. C'est un livre. Bukan c'est un livre. So, gender dia adalah masculin. Masculin meaning you have to take the adjective masculin. Masculin adjective. So, noir here is this one. Masculin. Sini punya feminine. Sini punya masculin plural. Sini punya feminine plural. Ce sont des stylos bleus. Ok. A of you, lapan daripada semua student berjaya menjawab dengan betul. Ce sont des stylos bleus. Bleu sebab des stylos ni dia masculin. And then dia punya uh, bilangan dia banyak. So, bleu. B, B, L, U. B, L, E, U, S. This is the Correct answer. C'est un portefeuille. Portefeuille is wallet. So I put here black. Uh, okay. Noir, noir, noir. Newton. Okay, I'm going to write Newton. Très bien. Un portefeuille. Un portefeuille. Which is uh, masculin. C'est une règle jaune. C'est une règle jaune. Wow, okay, so we jawab dengan betul. So far lah, ada 24 responses. C'est une règle jaune. Okay, I don't think you guys have problems with the colors lah, except for the plural. I think you guys are so far good. Yeah, as long as you guys kenal dia punya gender, you guys can put the right answer. 
Colors is not a problem for US. Okay, we have uh, how many more? Okay, time dengan uh, verbs. Okay, it's 10 28. Uh, we take 10 minutes break and we will continue with this. Kalau sempat, kita go through exercise dalam buku. We'll see how. Alright.
Oh, hi, welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Bienvenue. So, bienvenue means welcome. Huh? Your vocabulary for today. <laughs> okay, our next exercise section is the set section. This is the set. Complete avec l'heure en mots selon le système d'horaire. Complete with time in words according to different hour system. So this one. Oops, I think I took the wrong window. Where's the right window? I think around here, yes, Nikila. Nikila. So, so, 8.15. Uh, Nikila, what is the time? So, I will put it on the system 12h or 24h. 12h or 24 so, Colombo Le Jawa. Ah, for those who put ile, très bien, mais en bas gauche. Ah, c'est ta guise à vous. If you guys don't put ile, but tapo, but it's good when someone asks you about the time, you you have to answer ile. Ile, ce qui est, ce qui est. So, we have the answers here. 8 heures et quart. Ile, 8 heures et quart. You guys put it, tu vas jawa. Ile, 8 heures et quart du matin. Tapun, il est 8h15. Il est 8h15. Alors, tapini, il est 8h du matin. Tu le prends à l'état 15. C'est ta bague de tola. So, il est 8h15. Il est 8h15. C'est ta bague de tola. So, I think Rama yang berjaya menjawab dengan tepat. Sistem 12h. Actually, c'est l'état sini sistem 12h. But, I think. Uh, for those who put the answers, sebab ada dua markah. Even though uh, mungkin ada yang salah sikit, tapi kalau you guys punya waktu tu uh, boleh diterima. Contohnya, kalau sistem loser, we have to answer il est midi. Il est midi et demi. Il est midi et demi. Dua belas tengah. This is the best answer lah. Midi et demi. Il est midi et demi. No need to put a, huh? So, call it midi. It's like saying it's noon hours. You cannot say it's noon hours. So, how the French say it is uh, il est midi et demi. It's like it is noon and a half. It is noon and a half. Il est midi et demi. So, sometimes, memang ada orang French akan cakap il est midi trente. Il est midi trente. Cuma tak ada er, ha? buang er. Oh, sebutan ni er, ha? if you guys can't uh, pronounce it correctly, er. Il est midi. Yeah, uh, you cannot say il est midi, er. So, il est huit er. Il est huit er. So, if you guys answer il est midi et trente, saya bagi betul satu markah. Good. Uh, if not mistaken, saya bagi satu markah juga. But the best answer is il est midi et demi. Il est midi et demi. Il est douze heures et demi also correct. I give you one point. Okay. 
the next one is 345 345 uh, ataupun 1545 the answer here is uh, I wanted the answer to be in 12 uh, in 12 hour system so kalau boleh sebenarnya jawapan dia best answer is actually katkha mualekah Okay, ramai yang cuai sini ramai yang fall into the trap which is uh, korang buat instead of katkha mualekah 4 uh, four o'clock minus 15 minus uh, a quarter uh, minus suku korang letak 3 mualekah 3 mualekah ada tak sini ah, this one il est 3 mualekah Kalau tuazah mualekah dia jadi dua pak dia jadi uh, dia dah bukan jawapan ini dia jadi dua empat bukan tiga empat puluh lima. So the answer here is actually il est quatre mualekah pukul empat tolak suku. But I also give a uh, good I mean I give uh, markah untuk yang jawab il est 3 h uh, 3 h 45 saya bagi betul satu markah good saya tengok balik cara I give you marks for this one give me a few seconds I still give you oh okay I give you two marks juga yep I give you two marks juga meaning you guys managed to uh, at least mention the numbers correctly So question, the following question is, the answer to it is, uh, il est 17, so this one is correct, il est 17, alamak, il est 17, you have, you have to put a, huh? I think I give you one mark kot sini, il est 5, also betul, I think I bagi juga markah, il est 5, jumatan, uh, if you, you put jumatan jadi salah, Sangka Jumatang maknanya pukul 5 pagi Since this one is pukul 5 petang If you put Sangka, I would accept If you put Sangka Jumatang, I cannot accept Il est 17 is the best answer Il est 15 so it's not 15 hours huh? So this one is wrong Il est 17, betul Il est 17, you, you, this one you forgot to put E huh? Il est 17 du soir Almost correct lah. No, okay, uh, the answer, the best answer is this setter. This setter, ha. Huh? Yang lupa dia punya e, uh, selalunya ada s, ha. Kata kalau mau, okay. Also forgot this one. Yes, I just need to put s. Sorry guys, she is late. And uh, okay, so lapan dua puluh lima. Sistem bangkatra. The best answer for this one is vingt-deux vingt-cinq, vingt-deux vingt-cinq, vingt-deux, which is twenty hours, vingt-cinq, vingt-cinq minutes. It's twenty-five minutes. And ramai juga yang jawab with. 8h25 8h25 ok il est 8h25 you have to put il est 8h you have to put h huh? if not I won't give you a, a mark a marker here 
I will give you good marks. Uh, okay, il est vente, vingt-cinq. Yep, this is the one of the correct. This one is the correct answer. So I'm going to give you a I also accept huit-heures quarante-cinq. No, huit-heures quarante-cinq is pas plus mal. Il est vingt-deux vingt-cinq. Allez, enjoy. Ah, this one. Huit-heures quarante-cinq. Non, Yes, this one. Il est huit heures vingt-cinq. Yep, I still accept. Even though I mentioned here system to to bajang, tapi tapa. And jadi korang dapat jawab waktu dengan betul. And last but not least for leh for leh exercise. Il est minuit. Most of you guys managed to get it correctly. And I have question why. Ramai antara korang yang letak IT ya, eh? huruf IT So, ok, uh, memang kena letak S lah, kecuali kalau una, kecuali kalau pukul satu Maksudnya plural lah macam satu jam uh, Satu jam pukul satu Just enough satu Satu hour, one hour But if you say uh, Two hour Dah jadi Dezah Dia dah kena letak, kena, kena letak S So I will mention here Always put an S Okay, ramai menjawab dengan betul. Uh, is there any reason why you guys uh, ramai yang menjawab dengan it uh, huruf sebenarnya ile minui ya ile minui bukan it ite minui. I think a few of you uh, answer ite minui. Is it uh, in the book? Ada salah aja or something? Bukan ite minui ya. Bukan huruf t ya. It is il lah. Okay, one, five, six, seven. Uh, eight, nine. Sembilan orang jawab it. Okay, please uh, correct the spelling. I still give you a mark, uh, two, two marks ah, so far. So tell what you're going to check up. But uh, it's not it a menu. It's il a menu. Cause I had a just salah dalam slide. I did I spell it uh, wrongly? If yes, I'm sorry. Okay, it's my fault. I'm sorry. Je suis désolé. Il est minuit. Hein? So don't mind. I still give you guys all. Uh, even zero ugh pour I give you. I give. I give you guys two marks. So this one is the most. Uh, it's not complicated, lah. It's just some of you guys didn't conjugate, guys. Okay, if questions, if exercises like this, complete avec la conjugaison de verb. Complete with the conjugations of the verbs, which means I don't want this form. Okay. I hope this doesn't repeat itself for the next exercise, and I think uh, maybe you guys need to work on the verb and so verb exercises. So I will try and give you more verb exercises from now on. Okay. Okay. So from this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ada tujuh verbs. Il y a sept verbs. Il y a sept verbs. 
there is seven verbs here. So you guys need to answer here on each of the questions, ada tujuh soalan, with the right conjugations of the verb. And by conjugations, I mean is this one. By conjugations, bila saya kata conjugations, you have to see the verbs on the on your notes or on your books. You guys kena sesuaikan dengan dia punya uh, kata ganti nama. So this one, je parle, tu parle, il parle, nous parlons, vous parlez, il, elle parle. So all these verbs have their own conjugations. You guys cannot answer with the infinitive form. This one is called the infinitive form. You cannot answer with this form. You tak boleh cakap je parler, tak boleh. You can't say je commencer, je manger, je venir, je remplir. We cannot say we simply cannot do that. So every time there's exercises like this one, ataupun ada juga exercise macam ni, last time you guys have to conjugate. Please, I hope you guys remember this for the next exercise. See if we play. Okay, then we'll just finish this exercise. Bonjour, je m'appelle Amélie. Bonjour, je m'appelle Amélie. Je... Pas de Paris. Je... Pas de Paris. So, the first thing is actually, I think, saya ajar korang on the first or second week of the class, maybe dah lama dah. Okay, every time you want to talk about where are you from, you will say, je viens de Paris. Je viens de Sabah. Je viens de Selangor. Je viens de Penang. I come from. Paris, I come from Penang, and so on. So, viens is this verb. Is this verb. Venir. Venir is come, to come. So, dalam ayat tu, kita guna je viens. This is the answer. Okay, five of you managed to answer correctly. Bravo. Thank you for answering it correctly. Numéro de Jacques va dans un restaurant italien et il first uh, impression first apa ni? Korang punya first idea mesti makan kan? De pizza, de pizza. It's uh, pizzas. He eats pizzas. So I know you guys managed to get. Most of you managed to get the verbs correctly, which is good. Merci. But you guys have to also conjugate. So, il, apa, de pizza. So you guys have to have a look. Pergi dekat verb tadi. Slowly, you guys have to go through. Okay, il. Il mange. Il mange. So, you take this one. That's why, okay, Jacques va dans un restaurant italien. Jacques va di, okay, if you guys don't remember, va, va is also here. Okay, that's it, sorry. Va ada dalam uh, lesson 2, dalam chapter 2. Is under the verb aller. So, the va dans un restaurant italien et il mange des pizzas. Il mange des pizzas. On est des macan pizza. Ok, s'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît, is please. S'il vous plaît. Ok, this is the clue. Bila saya kata s'il vous plaît, maknanya saya bercakap dengan ramai orang. So, which is why toutes ces exercices avant 20 heures. Toutes ces exercices means all these exercises. Avant means before. So, please, pas kosong, 
all these exercises before 8 o'clock. Okay. Uh, yes, okay, Ram, uh, most of you can get the picture, but uh, some of you didn't conjugate. Also, almost correct. Cuma kat sini dia bercakap dengan ramai orang, bukan seorang. So, finisse. Finisse. Finisse to say exercise avant panto. Finish all these exercises before 8 o'clock. So, finir is, uh, okay, tak ada dalam slide. It's on page 37. 37. Page 37. Page 37. Finir. The first, uh, I think I'll just add one here. Boleh tak? Muat tak? I think tak apa. We just finish this exercise for this, for the next class. I will add on another Get on Skip So finir means finish Finir means finish Ejaan pun lebih kurang macam finish Finish Okay lah, sebutan dia Finish Je Fini I finish Tu Fini L Fini Nous finissons Il ou elle finis. Alright. Okay. Let's get back to the exercise. We're almost done. Huh? Numéro 4. Nous. Okay, à l'université, à l'université, à. À 8 heures du matin pour le cours de français. Nous, à l'université, à 8 heures du matin pour le cours de français. Oui, c'est pas possible. At the university, at 8 o'clock in the morning for French class. Cours de français is class of French, so French class, cours de français. Ok, so actually, I know you guys can confuse this one. It's either... Uh, the verb aller aller ataupun venir ataupun arriver parce que uh, venir de guna sini okay, aller à de kabawani so this one is nous arrivons à l'université à 8h du matin pour le cours de français nous arrivons bukan arriver eh? nous arrivons eh? ok uh, on Tak ramai yang menjawab dengan betul. Satu, dua, tiga, empat. Thank you. Merci pour la réponse. Thank you for answering it correctly. Don't forget to conjugate next time. Arrivons. Yes. Tutu dalam buku. Dalam buku, page 37. 37. Numéro 5. Après le cours. Après means after. Après le cours. Tu vas où? Tu vas où? Japonais. Faut vous aller. You guys have to check the verb aller. And you guys take out your punya conjugation for the verb tu. Après le cours, tu vas où? Après le cours, tu vas où? After the class, where are you going? Numéro 6. Ils sont mes étudiants à UITM. Ils, 
Okay, I did mention that every time you want to talk about language, you have to use the masculine singular form, which is parler, anglais, et français. Which I So, we live in the total language, we hear, parl. So, we use the verb parler. We use the verb parler, which is this one. Then you go see the verb parler and you see the conjugation, which is this one, il. Avec un S, ah, with an S, il parle. So you take this one and you put it here. So il parle. Très bien, grand-mère Jo, dengan betul. And last but not least, il. Okay, yeah, this one is actually a bonus, but I still need you guys to conjugate. Ah. I know the answer is commencé. The answer is commencé. Tapi, the trick is to conjugate. You have to see here and take what the punya kata kata nama il. So sorry, this one il commons. Il commons. You take this one and then you take copy and paste to here as as your answer. Six of you answered it correctly. Très bien, bravo. Okay, we are at the end of the exercise. Thank you for doing the exercise and uh, it's okay for... Okay, I can see that few of you are weak in uh, verbs. I think time, pun, you guys still okay. Colors, you guys still okay. Still not bad. So I will uh, provide you more exercises on the verbs the verbs that we have learned so far lah. right for those who I haven't marked I will send to you the results by today by tonight okay So it's 11, 8 minutes. Uh, I think for the answers, answers for page 42 and 43, um, some part about page 42, 43. I think I will just give you the answers good. I will provide you the answers. So Bob, I just spot a cover. Or maybe next week before we start the next chapter. Let's start some. Okay, any questions so far? I need you guys to uh, just communicate with me if uh, any parts, any exercise you are a tough skit compared to the other exercises. And I will get you through. As for now, you guys have completed chapter 3. Très bien. <laughs> da 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 da. 
Okay, okay, guys. Okay, open page 41 sekejap. Uh, I think 5 minit ni sempat. Go to page uh, 40, 41. 41. Just nak bagi tahu korang atas apa yang tulis kat page ni. I think we don't have time to finish the exercises for 42 and 43. Sama ada saya bagi jawapan ke depan ataupun tengok macam mana. But it's, it's better if you guys spend some time to do it and then only uh, refer to the answers I give you. It's good for you lah. I mean, it's good for your practice. And uh, kalau saya, after saya dah siap baru saya tengok jawapan. I think I don't have uh, enough time to discuss this. I'll see by next week. Okay, page 41. Page 41. Bukan bukan dekat screen ya. Screen ni tak ada. Okay, la France. Civilisation la France. So, page ni menceritakan sedikit sebanyak tentang negara Perancis. It's just something that you guys, uh, additional information for you guys. Pemerintahuan am. Yeah, la France est l'un des pays européens. La France est l'un des pays européens. Which means, France is one of uh, one of the European countries. Elle partage ses frontières avec huit pays. So, dia cakap elle ni, elle ni merujuk kepada la France. Partage means share. So, la France, uh, France shares uh, ses frontières. Frontière is uh, border. La France shares, shares the, its borders with eight countries, eight other countries. We have uh, la Belgique, Le Luxembourg, l'Allemagne, la Suisse, l'Italie, l'Espagne et les deux principautés de Monaco et d'Andorre. So it is sharing its borders. Si mon berkongsi si pat dengan Belgium, uh, negara Luxembourg, German, Switzerland, Italy, Espagnol, dan uh, negara kecil Monaco et uh, Andorre. Andorra. Paris est la capitale de la France. Paris is the capital of uh, France. So, depuis le 1er janvier 2016, la France a 18 régions administratives. 13 en métropole et 5 autres maires. Guadeloupe, Réunion, Martinique, la Réunion de Mayotte. So since 1st of January 2016, uh, France had the 18-18 region. So the regions you can see on the map over there. So the 13 dekat dia punya mainland, France punya mainland, and lagi lima ada dekat lain. Bukan dekat, bukan satu kawasan dengan France. So we have Guadeloupe, Guyane, Martinique, La Réunion et Mayotte. So kat dalam map tu korang boleh jumpa 13 sahaja. So lagi 5, it's all over the world. Saya pun tak pasti exactly where is the position. Okay. So for those who haven't tried page 42 and 43 uh, please try I mean try and do first and I will provide the answers by next week okay it's 11.15 uh, oh good question uh, Monaco is actually bukan the Chonel is not it's a 
part of France tapi dia bukan dalam metropol. Metropol ni maknanya satu kawasan macam Malaysia semenanjung kan. So dia macam terpisah. Jadi dia tak adalah terpisah dia macam dekatlah dengan France tapi dia bukan satu negara dalam France. So France ni macam ada kawasan dekat tempat lain lah macam apa tadi La Réunion pulau-pulau tu so kalau korang google pulau ni ada yang ber, uh, terletak jauh dari France pun bukan dekat France pun maknanya dekat pulau ni dia orang cakap dia orang speak French lah sekejap uh, ada Guyane Martinique La Réunion Guadeloupe Guadeloupe pun bukan dekat situ Hmm, Spain and Catalonia Catalonia is still in Spain lah so so uh, it's not actually the same Catalonia masih dalam uh, Catalonia, Catalonia masih dalam Spanyol tapi negara-negara uh, uh, tapi apa ni Eh sorry, Monaco dia dia bukan, memang bukan uh, dia, dia memang bukan orang France, dia negara lain It's not part of France Sorry, sorry, saya confused dengan dia punya pulau-pulau uh, So pulau-pulau ni, actually dia masih France punya region Cuma dia jauh dari France, dia bukan sekali dengan dalam, dalam satu kawasan tu lah Kalau macam Spain and dengan Catalonia, it's still the same kawasan So, kau boleh tengoklah pulau tu kat mana Guadeloupe Guadeloupe Guyane Guyane Martinique La Réunion et Mayotte If you guys can google just see where is the where are the islands located So this is just uh, general knowledge lah kalau korang for for your additional knowledge Okay we are finished I think we are finished chapter 3 So that's it for today We'll see you guys, or uh, hear from you guys uh, next week. So, bon soirée. Au revoir. À la prochaine. À la semaine prochaine. Then, uh, bon ramadan.